In this short video, we will show you how to set up your dual rates and expos on your radio. The radio actually supports up to four different rates which why it shows in the menu as QR, Expo which stands for Quad Rates. The QR menu can be found on the base menu. Look for the QR Expo menu item and tap on it. The first screen will show an overview of the rates used for each control surface. On the left column it shows the name of the control, for example, aileron and on the second column, it shows if the rate is flight phase dependent or global. The detail column brings you to the detail settings of each control. The following columns display the current rates and expo settings for each control surface. Note that this is a scrollable menu which can slide horizontally to show additional details. Subsequently you can also use the direction key to scroll left or right. You can also add additional rates to other control surfaces if needed. To do so, tap on the number column to bring up the task bar and tap on the plus key. This will display a list of available control surfaces to pick from, such as flaps. In the detail menu we can set the switches that control each of our rates and expo values. Tap on the detail icon, for example, ailerons, which brings you to the aileron detail settings. In this menu you can select the curve type, phase dependencies, set your rates and expos, and assign switches for each rate. Let's start with assigning a control switch for our rates. In this example, we will use the three position switch SW4 to switch between each rate. To assign the switch, tap on the first control field. This brings up the select input control dialog. On the radio, toggle switch SW4. This brings up the position switch configuration dialog. Set the switch on position as shown and tap OK. Tap on the second control field and repeat the previous steps, but set the switch on position as shown. Follow the same procedure for the third control field and set the switch on position as shown. At this point, switch SW4 controls three different rates. If you would like to have only two rates you can skip the third control settings field and set the switch on position on the second control field as shown. This makes the switch behave as a two position switch. Now that we have set all our switches, we can start entering the values for our rates and expos. Tap on the value tab to enter the rates and expo menu. On the bottom you will see the current active switch position for which we will be setting our rates. Tap on the rate field to bring up the settings toolbar. If you want both rates to be equal, you can tap on the link icon to have both values set at the same time. Use the up, down arrow icons to change the rate values. You can also change rate values by swiping the orange control bar, up or down on the left. To set your expos, tap on the expo field and follow the same procedure as with the rate settings. Note that with Graupner radios, positive expo will soften your center stick position. To set rates and expos for the other switch positions, move the switch to the desired position and follow the same procedure as before. When finished, tap on the upper left icon to return to the QR menu. You may notice that the aileron field is now showing the values you previously entered in the rate and expo fields. If you need to make changes, you can do them directly on this menu. This concludes the QR Expo tutorial. If you still have questions or suggestions, visit us at controlhobbies.com and leave us a message. Also, check out the product resources pages on our website for additional Graupner radio videos and tutorials.